Hey Stampers! Welcome to another week of Watch It Weekly Wednesday. I'm Beth, part of the Stamping Jill creative team, and I want to share with you a really, really cute idea that was shared with me this weekend at a stamping retreat. We met together with a group of demonstrators to do On Stage, which is Stampin' Up's convention, where they inspire us and show us new things that are coming. It was so fun. And we got together with some demonstrators in our area and did some swaps. We did some shoebox swaps. And one of these little projects that someone shared just inspired me to create something I thought was so fun. So let me show you what I created. I'm calling it like a photo card. I think that's the best description of what it is. My family just recently had family pictures done and I was thinking of how I could put them up on my husband's desk at work. And so when I saw this project, I thought that's exactly what I need to do. So I took her idea and I made it into a little photo card. So I, it's flat enough that you could mail it if you wanted to. This would fit in re one of our regular medium sized envelopes, but it will also stand up. It will stand up on your desk just like that and it will show kind of your cute family or for whatever occasion you want to do. I want to show you a couple of ideas I came up with. But this card base, our card stock is really what makes it stand up because it's just such nice thick card stock. So I want to show you the measurements of what I did for the base and then I'll show you some other ideas I've come up with. I'm going to bring in my Stampin' Trimmer and just one piece of soft suede card stock. And I'm going to first start by cutting this in half at five and a half inches. And then I'm going to have two pieces that I'm going to work with. So I'm going to cut my first piece so that it measures eight and a quarter by five and a half. That's going to be my first piece. I'm going to score this piece twice. Score it at a half inch. And then on this side, I'm going to push it through my trimmer to four and a quarter and I'm going to score it there. So I'm going to have a four and a quarter side that this is going to fold over the top and this is going to be my flap where I'm going to adhere my second piece. Okay, I want this piece to be a little shorter than this piece. So I'm going to bring my trimmer back in and I'm going to trim off to this score line here five eighths of an inch. And then I'm going to just trim off that little flap and that's going to be my top piece. Okay, it's going to start to build on itself. I'm going to bring in my second piece. This is still marked at eight and a half by five and a half and I'm going to cut this down to four and seven eighths by six and a quarter. Okay, and I'm going to score this piece at two and three quarters. Okay, just like that. Now again, I want to cut down this piece five eighths of an inch so that it lays just a little bit flatter. So I'm going to go ahead and do that here. I'm only going to cut down to that score line. And then I'm going to trim off that little flap. And I'm going to have the base for my photo card. So this is going to adhere here and this will fold over and that will be like the base. I like to use tear and tape. So I just take a little bit and put on the flap. That's why I left the flap just a little bit larger at half an inch so that I could add the tear and tape easily. So you just lay it on there, peel off the wax paper side. And I like to lay it flat out like this and then bring my piece over top of it so that I can get it just as close in there as I can. Just like that. And then it's going to fold like that on top of itself. So that's the basics of how to make the base of the photo card. Okay, so let me bring back in my card that I had made. I just decorated this one using a lot of the um, product from the Nature's Harvest Suite. I thought that was so cute. And it kind of worked with my family's colors. But I thought for Thanksgiving, this might be a fun project to make for a grandparent or for somebody, a family member that maybe you're not able to get together with. 
and you can send it just right through the mail to them. It is a little thick, so you'd have to maybe pay a little extra postage, but it will fit in a regular sized envelope. Another idea I had was to make something for Christmas. This could be your Christmas card. Um, I've used the candy cane background stamp here and just said, have a holly jolly Christmas. And then included photos of my family, um, had my kids sign it, and we wrote our little note there. Just really simple, but someone could prop that up on their mantle and have it up as their Christmas card. Fun. And finally, I made one for my niece, Emily. She is my youngest niece currently, and she had a little bit of a crazy time coming into this world, spent some time in the NICU. And it was such a tender time for our family um, that I wanted to document it for. So I thought I would use some of our hand pen suite to do this. I used some of the memory, Memories and More um, stickers and card pack. And I made this one for Emily. This is Emmy when she was just in the NICU. And now she is just a rip-roaring little five-year-old. And she is so full of spirit. We just love her. It's Aubrey's daughter, so here's a photo of Aubrey with Emily. Such a fun time. So I thought I would make this and give it to her as a Christmas gift because I know she's going to love to put this up in her room. So I challenge you to think of what you could do with this project. Make a fun photo book for somebody that you care about or use it as your Christmas card this year to be able to share multiple photos and your uh, message all in one little thing that you can mail. If you like this idea and you have a friend that you think would want to make it, please share this video with them so that they can have the tips and tricks. You can also check out our blog at stampingjill.com to see the measurements for this card idea so that you can recreate it yourself. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next week for another Watch It Weekly Wednesday.